So the purpose of this course is to share with you how to build a professional website. The same techniques I use to build very expensive websites, six-figure websites, okay? But you have to walk before you can run. So we are going to stay away from code. We're not going to build any hand coding from scratch in this course, okay? But I want to share with you how it thinks. Therefore, it will be less confusing for you. Now, this happens to be an HTML page. Now, how does a browser know that it's an HTML page? Well, very simply, because here's an HTML opening tag right here. HTML, which of course stands for Hypertext Markup Language. Now, for those of you that are not very computer savvy, back in the 70s, there was a word processing program called WordPerfect, and I'm talking before Microsoft Word. Word Perfect was the industry standard. Before that, you had weighing systems and everything else. Now, back in that day, and that's really where a lot of this tagging comes from, you would have to reveal your source code in Word Perfect, and that's how you tag your words. I want to make a word bold. I want to make a word italic. I want to make a word bigger. Subhead. You would tag your content. Now, here's something I want you to write down. Now, I don't expect you to write everything down, but there's some basic concepts that will help you to think about solving problems, and one of them is tagging content. So let's understand on a web page what content could potentially be. Well, content, of course, can be text. Well, that makes sense, right? Content could be a graphic, basically, which I said earlier before we started the course, or actually right after we started the course. If it was before the course, of course, you wouldn't have heard it. Of course, the course, yes, of course. So the types of, of graphic elements I could have are .jpg files, which I did say lowercase, no space, by the way. .jpg would be for photographs. I also have .png files, which stand for portable network graphic. The difference between those types of graphic files is one supports transparency, one does not. JPEG does not support transparency. I don't want to cloud your head with that stuff, but that's part of content. So I can have text content, I can have image content, I can have QuickTime movie content, I can have flash content, which is actually a w.swf shockwave flash file. Now, very, very important step here. How does the browser know the type of content that that particular element is? Well, that's done with markup language, hypertext markup language. So pretty much every web page is going to start out with the HTML tag. Now this up here is just telling you the type of HTML tag it's going to be. And this is the HTML4 version. Now I do have courses on HTML5, but we're just going to keep this very, very simple, working with basic HTML4 content structure. Okay, so there's my HTML tag opening. Here's my HTML tag closing. How do I know it's a closing tag? It's the same exact tag, but here's a little forward slash key. Then in the header, the header on a web page is stuff that you don't see. It's kind of behind the scenes stuff. It's the behind the scenes stuff. So here's my opening header tag, and here's my closing header tag. Now, all these tags were created for you by default by simply making a new page inside of Dreamweaver. The only content that we added from scratch was right here, and of course, we did that up in the title tag. Okay, so if I want to say offer free FedEx shipping, I could do this one two, two ways. I come up here and type in free FedEx, or I can come right here and type in the word F-E-D, sometimes spelling, spelling helps, FedEx, space bar. So that affected this. If I click right up here, you will see that it says FedEx, see? So what's happening right here is anything that you put in design writes code writes code, but I can't see anything because I don't have anything inside my body tag. I'm just going to get rid of this extra space for a second just by hitting the delete key. Now, similar to, uh, I think I learned this originally in the third grade, when you learn how to write a letter, the salutation, the body, the, the, the header, the, the footer of a letter. That's what a letter was comprised of. So the body tag is basically the body contents of your information of what you want to see on the page, on the web page. Now, that body can contain text. The text can be a variety of different things. I can have text that's going to be a paragraph, 
text that's going to be a headline, a subheadline. Those are known as header tags, which I will talk about in great detail. Now, what I want to share with you is that the code affects the design and the design affects the code. So just because we can't, I did say we're not going to write code from scratch and we're really not going to. But I just want to write between these two body tags. I'm just going to type in the word welcome to my website. Now, this is a very, very important step here. I simply, in plain old simple English, between the two body tags, simply type in the word welcome to my website. I'm going to save the change. Make a change, save a change. Could have to get into Command S Macintosh, all Macintosh programs, Control S for Windows. Now, if I go back to design mode, it says, Welcome to my website. Simple, simple, simple. I, again, you don't want to walk before you can run. Now, what this is default to, this is actually defaulting to the typeface of Times Roman 16 pixels. Well, wait a second, where does it say that? Well, that's just what a browser will default to, and that's what Dreamweaver programming defaults to. Times Roman 16 pixels. Now, again, it's slightly smaller than a quarter inch, because I did say that there's 72 pixels to an inch, half inch is 36, half of that would be 18. So this is slightly smaller than a quarter inch. Okay, now, very important step. Right now, this content has not been tagged. It's simply part of the body tag, but it doesn't have its own parameters set to it. What I mean by that is there's no tag surrounding the word welcome to my website. It's contained, yes, inside the body tag. In fact, anything I put on my website should be part of my body tag. This is the content that the mass public can see. This is not the behind the scenes stuff that appears between here and here. So in our next video, I'm going to share with you how I can start tagging or marking up my content. And I'm going to do this in a very simplistic, straightforward, easy, 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 no hand coding from scratch way. And we'll do that in our next video. So thank you very much for being here. My name is Robert Farrell.